So hi everyone and welcome to the um, City Lab Semester in Residence student panel. We're joined today by some of my classmates um, from 2020, our online semester. So that was very interesting and maybe we can start by introducing ourselves. Um, I'll start. My name is Wendy. Uh, I worked with these lovely folks in 2020, um, two of which are were in my project group. So if, Julia, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, yeah, thanks, Wendy. Hi, my name is Julia. Um, I was also a City Lab student in 2020 um, and am currently a fourth year student at McMaster. Uh, I'm Henry, I am also a fourth year student at McMaster and I was with Anonia and Wendy uh, for our project last year. Hi, uh, my name is Ananya. Uh, I, as everyone said, I got a chance to work with these beautiful people uh, last year in 2020, but currently um, I graduated from McMaster uh, in earlier this year. So uh, 2021, I graduated and I'm currently working full time with the Office of Community Engagement, which was actually an opportunity um, I heard about and um, through my city lab experience. Awesome. Yeah, it's so good to see everyone again. And I missed your faces. But I know some of you have already mentioned this in your intro, but maybe we can um, jump to our first question, which is kind of where you are currently in your career academically, if there's anything you want to add to what you mentioned before. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am in my final year of health science at Mac. So I'm in my fourth year currently completing my thesis. Um, and I'm applying to graduate schools for next year. I currently also work um, as the events and communications assistant for City Lab, hence so why I'm facilitating this conversation right now. Um, yeah, I'm also working with my instructor, so Dave Heidrich, who is, uh, was a City Lab instructor in 2020, or still is, um, but we're working with him on, um, like, and Ananya and Henry on a, another project uh, that's outside of City Lab. That's kind of like a continuation of our, our sustainability work in SIR. Um, Julia? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I kind of uh, hijacked your first question by kind of explaining already that I'm a fourth year student at McMaster, <laughs> um, but I'll say it again. Uh, I am in my fourth year of arts and science. I am also, like Ananya, working part time in the Office of Community Engagement to help with some podcasting. That was something that came directly out of the City Lab semester. Um, and I'm also working with um, some of the instructors from City Lab on my thesis work. So I think a lot of the stuff that I did in City Lab is translating into what I'm doing academically and otherwise today. It seems like I'm the only unemployed person here. So I'll have to make up for that in some other way. But uh, like I said, I'm Henry. Uh, I'm also in my fourth year uh, in the Arts and Science program. And I'm also doing my thesis with uh, Dave and Randy and trying to expand the City Lab uh, fourth year thesis uh, apparatus, I guess. So I messed up earlier and I mentioned a bit of this in my intro, but I'll do this properly this time. So I graduated from McMaster earlier this year and um, I got an opportunity, as Julia mentioned, I've been working alongside her uh, with the Office of Community Engagement and both of us have been working on developing another um, experiential learning course, as well as a podcast for the Office of Community Engagement. So that's where I am currently. Uh, and I'm kind of taking the next year into to explore my options and then looking into further um, education possibilities or career possibilities as well. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, so I was wondering how you first learned about City Labs Master in Residence and what led you to join the program. Does anybody want to start us off? I can I can jump in. Um, so I remember I had heard about City Lab from an alumni, a City Lab alumni, and uh, they were my friend. And I was just sort of asking them, like, "Oh, I saw that you did that program. Like, what was it about?" Um, and so my friend sort of explained to me and, you know, she was like, hey, that'd be a really great fit for you. I think you would do really well. 
Um, so I didn't think too much of it. I kind of just got on, did a little bit of research, and I was like, oh, that sounds really cool, but I don't even know if I'll get in. It seems like really, like, it seems really cool to the point where I was like, I, I won't get in. Um, so I sort of just applied on the whim, really. I just sent in my application. I was like, it'd be really cool if I got this, because I had at that point been looking for a more practical experience in my academic career, because so far it had just been like lectures. While that's great, I really wanted some hands-on experience experience and the possibility of doing a project with the city um, was really exciting for me. So that's really why I applied. Yeah, I would agree um, in terms of my experience. I was really interested in the program, um, but came at it from a little bit of a different angle. I had planned on going on exchange in my third year. Um, I had a great plan with like all these courses and this is what I was going to do. And then the pandemic hit, uh, as we know. And so I was kind of sitting there in May and June of 2020 thinking, what am I going to do? I didn't want to just um, kind of take online courses for the sake of it, but wanted to have some sort of kind of intentional experience. Um, I think I applied like the day before applications were due or something. It was a very kind of last minute, like, maybe I'll try this. Um, and I'm so grateful that I did, um, because it has been such a great experience and did shape a lot of what I'm doing today. So you're just like, if I'm not going on exchange, I'm going to still find a way to be off campus for the semester. Yeah, I have to do something. Like, even if it yeah. is online, I have to do something. Yeah. I have to do something crazy. <laughs> awesome. Henry. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, oh. sorry. I was going <laughs> to jump in because I had a very similar experience to Julia, but had a different take on it. I was still in denial and was hoping that exchange would happen until the very last day. And then my girlfriend was planning on doing this. And she said, oh, you should just apply just in case exchange doesn't happen. So I'm very, I'm very glad I did because I think it would have been a very depressing year if I had not done something other than just online classes. And uh, I know a lot of people in ArtSci in the upper years also took the program and had a really good experience. So it has a good perception in our program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from what I hear, ArtSci is very like, uh, you know, arts and science, very like big picture. And City Lab is very, very big pictures about systems in the city and make a lot of connections in it. Yeah, so similar similar to what everyone's kind of said. Um, and then yeah, I also found out about City Lab through um, like an upper year in my program. And I saw that she did some really cool work in sustainability, like with Environment Hamilton. Um, and she had the opportunity to do, I think it was her thesis or like part of her project course, like it was like a requirement for a program and she was able to fulfill that with that. And at that time I was looking for an opportunity to do a project course. And I thought it was super cool that I could learn something that's outside of the health sciences a little bit. And also, well, I mean, we were online, but I read that normally this program takes place like at city hall. And so I thought it'd be so cool to just switch it up and change the environment a little bit and just try something kind of wild and different. I also applied like the last, like the day before not thinking that I'd get in, but I'd just shoot my shot. And here we are. It was so much fun. It was really worth it. Yeah. Okay. So I was wondering also, um, did your perception and understanding of City Lab as a program change over the semester as you went through it? I don't think I had a perception going in. Um, I think my understanding of what City Lab was was very hazy. Um, as Henry mentioned, there were some upper year art size that I kind of vaguely knew who had done the program. Um, and I kind of had reached out to it for advice about whether or not I should do it. Um, but a lot of the stuff that I learned, I don't think if someone had told me in May of 2020, this is what you're going to learn, I would have even understood. Um, I came in perhaps a little bit naive. I didn't even know what urban planning was. Um, I didn't really know what community engagement was. And so, so many of the things I learned in the program, I don't know if I could have gotten in any other way. Um, yeah. So I guess my, my perception of it completely changed. Yeah. Um, so similar to Julia, I honestly didn't know what to expect when the program started. I was just along for the ride. I was like, this is exciting. Um, 
And I think what first stuck out to me is I very quickly realized how great it was to build a community virtually, especially since we were all doing City Lab during the pandemic. And I was hearing from other friends just their experience of online classes itself. Um, and I was so thankful just for the experience and community we had built within City Lab. Um, because every day we'd kind of log on and we'd be like involved in like doing teamwork and like, getting like to talk to um, panelists that would come in and just being immersed in like in city, all things city. So that was just such an exciting thing. And as Julia said, like just the topics we were exploring, like urban planning, design, um, dialogue planning, these were things like I thought of an abstract as like, yeah, that makes sense. You know, these are important things, but I didn't really pay much attention on how I can actually embed those things into the work I'm doing, like in school even, or in my personal life. Those were abstract ideas that kind of became things I now take with me as like, like I make an effort to embed those in everything I do. So that's how it sort of evolved for me. Yeah, I think you guys covered all of the important bases. I would just say that I thought it was gonna be more focused on just the final project, but I really liked the idea that we had those three courses to build up our skills before that. And I think that that's something that uh, I was just not expecting going in. Yeah, I totally agree. I, I think I was expecting it to be, I mean, it was very community based and like Hamilton based and I, I was expecting it to be a lot more theory, but I, I mean, it was a lot of theory and it was a lot of fun. It was very, it was like practical stuff that you could apply to your daily life as Ananya said. Um, it really helped me understand, yeah, like how things happen in the city, how decisions are made. Um, but also the thing that surprised me was just how, how, how much it helped me develop personally, like with the project and facilitation skills, like a lot of it is focused on how to be effective and how to, how to be effective in doing projects and collaborating with um, people and, um, like talking to people that I don't know. So we did a lot of interviews with people that. Um, like community members and uh, like uh, experts in the community. And um, so a lot of interviews with people I didn't know and I wasn't very comfortable with um, like speaking publicly before then. And so I was just, yeah, surprised by how much it's focused on developing like skills in, in the student that are applicable to like whatever they wanna take on after, after school, yeah. Awesome. I mean, I think that kind of ties into our next question, which is, um, can you share some of the specific skills that you learned in the semester that were unique to this experience? Uh, Wendy, so sort of just um, jumping off of what you said, um, this ties in a little bit to it, but I really understood the importance of relationship building. Um, I feel like when I was in just uh, regular, like non-experiential courses and lectures, um, it was more of an individual um, experience there. Whereas here, we were kind of interacting with people from all sorts of um, areas, like people from the city, community members, um, even interacting with students from different, um, like inter um, students from different um, programs at McMaster, right? So that in itself was such a unique experience. And for me, it helped me understand how important relationship building is, like outside, like, so to say, in the real world, like, once we leave our little school bubble, like, that's really what everything is built upon. And so for me, developing the skills for that, so how do we facilitate a conversation? Wendy, you mentioned, because we were, we did the same project, we were on the same team, but, you know, interviewing people and asking succinct questions, that was such a skill for me to just learn and, like, avoid awkward moments or create space in um, meetings and interviews for certain topics just learning how to do that and how that all ties back into building a um, good relationship with someone, understanding that was one of the key skills that I got out of that semester. Yeah, does anyone else want to take a stab? I think to build off that, uh, at least in my program, we do very little group work. It's a lot of individual projects. So just having the experience to work in a group for as long as we did, and uh, to be given the, the freedom to solve our own problems within the group was uh, really important. And then I think just also the overall project management, having such a large project and having to work through the different stages, but also having the support at each step was really great. 
-hmm. Yeah, I would echo everything that's already been said. Um, I think Ananya and Henry covered it well. Um, but I would also just say, I think, to go back to like those practical skills, um, stuff like writing media me, meeting agendas, um, that's something that you don't consider, but in your, when you're in the process of like building relationships, having like those action oriented um, kind of skills that guide the work and guide it in a way that's kind of um, principled, but also practical and you have goals and you're actually doing things, but along the way you're working in a team and you're meeting city staff. And um, I think kind of finding that balance between the relationship piece and um, kind of more of those practical, tangible hands-on skills was really important for me. Yeah, and those like hands-on skills, I mean, we're really interdisciplinary. I feel like we come from a bunch of different faculties and like these skills I think are so important to like, I don't know, anything you do, because a lot of the time you are gonna be working on projects that you don't know, that, that you're not, like you're working on projects that, you know, it's not like school where they have a set criteria, you have to decide on those yourself and like building relationships with other people to find common ground and stuff is, yeah, I think important to anything you do. So, yeah, great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and um, we have just a couple more questions. Um, where is this experience taking you now with research projects, other interests, and just life in general? Uh, should I start? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know when to jump in. Um, so, honestly, I took a lot out of my experience with the semester, and I wanted to coming out of it, really seek out opportunities that would allow me to, um, for example, explore uh, city politics more and things like that. So the first thing I did um, was I enrolled for an urban politics course at McMaster, um, which kind of compared post-industrial cities, which is Hamilton and Detroit. And I thought this was just a great uh, stepping stone after the semester because it explored the very topics of civic engagement, social inclusion and exclusion, how do local politics work, um, and also how urban transformations occur. And I thought I was coming in with a great background from the experience of the semester in residence, because these are all topics we had already discussed. So it made my experience in that urban politics course that much more amazing. Um, and through that urban politics course, I bring that up because through that urban politics course for my final project, I created a proposal um, for an urban agriculture land inventory. And where that idea came from was actually my work in the semester with Wendy and Henry um, and one other student. Uh, we were a part of the we were a part of the climate uh, resiliency group. Um, and so we had uh, put out a list of recommendations for the city of Hamilton. And one of those was related to urban agriculture. So I was like, really looking for a way to continue that work in some way. And I was like, how cool would it be if I could create a proposal out of one one of our um, recommendations? So that's what came out of that. And now to continue that forward, uh, Wendy, Henry, and I are actually working on that now um, to see uh, whether that's feasible in a Hamilton context. So it's just to show that, you know, if you want to, you can take your experience with the semester beyond the semester. Um, and another thing also out of right out of the semester, um, along with Julia, um, Julia and I were hired as City Lab ambassadors and we worked on creating a virtual engagement toolkit um, sort of out of the lessons that we learned during the semester. And also um, we worked on CityCast, which uh, we had experimented with during the semester as well. It's a podcast. Um, and so we were just looking into ways to make that more an integral part of um, City Lab. Uh, sorry, there's a lot to go there. Shameless <laughs> plug. I like it. Just to guest, everybody. Um, and just from there, I think just having had the opportunity to work with the Office of Community Engagement and continue to build upon some of those things that we learned in the semester has been really exciting for me. And I think looking ahead into the future um, and looking into further opportunities for me, I think one thing that the semester has given me is like grounding myself in community. And I think that's something that will never go away from me now. And I think that has all just stemmed from the semester in residence for me. Thanks, Ananya. Yeah, it sounds like, I mean, I know you're doing a lot and it sounds like a, a lot of that was inspired by semester residence, like your work, your projects. 
Um, was there anything from your life, maybe like that, maybe that you're doing differently now or like, I don't know, any changes in? I find myself, that? this is funny, but I find myself, if I'm having conversation, even if I'm talking to you all or if I'm talking to my friends, mm -hmm. I take a different approach to conversations now than I did before the semester. I find myself listening more. I find myself almost sometimes like if it's too chaotic, like directing like structure in a conversation, mm -hmm. which is funny to me, but that's really like on a day to day, I've noticed that about myself. I tend to like, try to listen more and, you know, just give other people more space to speak. So that's, that's been an interesting observation for me personally. You're a good listener. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody else have anything, anything to add? Any experiences that this has led you to with research, work, other interests, projects, life? Yeah, I think Ananya, oh, sorry, go ahead, Henry. No, no, go, go. Um, no, Ananya mentioned um, that we were working on CityCast, which was um, an amazing opportunity. I loved the opportunity to get to edit a podcast. That's something I'd never done before. So I think that was kind of a huge learning curve and really enjoyable in terms of learning those skills um, and learning even how to interview people and conduct conversations. Um, but I also mentioned earlier, I'm currently working with one of the um, instructors um, on my like academic thesis for arts and science. So that was something that developed right out of the semester. I kind of had never heard about urban planning and all of a sudden I'm doing a thesis related to urban planning. Um, so yeah, I think it's kind of woven into my life in a lot of different ways. I'm also just taking um, out of interest a course on Kind of cities right now a seminar course so i think the different ways that the city lab has affected me or have are not like very clear cut um obviously i'm continuing my work with the nunya and i'm doing this thesis and taking this course but um i'm also pursuing a minor in community engagement right now and i would have never considered that had i not done city lab me too i think it it fulfills like 15 out of 21 of the credits required or yeah. something like that so yeah, I also, after Team City Lab, I was like, I love, I mean, I love the community engagement as, like, I, I love, I love that topic, and it's very relevant to a lot of like, things that I do in my life, like volunteering, and, um, yeah, I, I already have all the credits for it for me, so me as well, just, just complete the other courses, so, yeah. Um, Henry, do you have anything to add? Yeah, I think the, I think that mine was only one credit for me one extra credit which yeah. is really nice but, so are you, are you also doing the minor yeah <laughs> so that's definitely a bonus if you're looking to Very get cool. some minors yeah. uh yeah so i'm doing my city lab thesis like i spoke about earlier uh which is nice and then i'm also doing open uh and I, I met i found out about that through randy who's one of the instructors so i think uh like we talked about the instructors are really great to talk to and they have a lot of connections and because it's a smaller program and you spend so much time with each instructor it's uh, an easy way to develop some relationships get some uh guidance and some references if that's uh, something that you need yeah um yeah i think personally city lab has uh it's it's taught me the value of so we did a lot of media projects as ananya and julia are working on podcast we did a lot of like advertising you know, advertising but like promoting our projects and learning how to create media product projects that kind of communicate what we're doing and so yeah i think that's an important skill that i learned and still doing that now but for city lab obviously we work for city lab now so i'm kind of doing that for city lab instead of a project um and yeah i think it opened my eyes like that the experience opened my eyes to how important municipal decision making is, like how much less far removed it is than, for example, like provincial or federal politics, and how you can, as Hamilton, like as a medium sized city, your voice actually, well, I mean, it, it carries more weight, I suppose. And so, um, yeah, I, I think just in life also, I'm learning about sustainability and learning about like bike lanes and all those cool, cool things. Um, I, yeah, I've made an active effort to make cycling my main mode of transportation, which I wouldn't have done if I hadn't 
take in City Lab. Um, and yeah, so that, that's been fun. But it's been it's been cool to be able to like see things like cycling infrastructure in the city, for example, or um, I don't know some some other other things in the city that I wouldn't have noticed otherwise that are related to urban planning. Like, yeah, it's just been cool to be able to be a little more mindful about the space that that I live in. I do just really quickly want to add Wendy because you talked about cycling. <laughs> that actually is a huge change in my personal life. Like I wasn't like someone who biked a lot, but this yeah. last summer coming out of the semester, that's all I did every yeah. single day. So it, you're right. Like cycling has been a shift in my life after the semester of residence. And with the amount of research we just did and the benefits of it, I think I'm a changed person. <laughs> yeah, I I love I'm an alternative transportation junkie now. Like going moving back to Toronto, I'm like, oh, the TTC is so amazing. I love this. But yeah, so it's it's cool to see see my city with a fresh pair of eyes, I think. Yeah. Does anybody have anything else to add? Maybe we can move on to the last question. All right, cool. So just close to close things off, do you have any words of advice for students who are thinking about getting involved in City Lab or other community-engaged learning programs? Um, just, uh, I think this is a great opportunity for students that are looking to get some sort of practical experience. Like if you're looking to step out of that traditional academic realm um, and work more in interdisciplinary teams and get project uh, experience, I think this is a great opportunity. But also, as Henry mentioned earlier, this is a great stepping stone Like if for you to kind of discover beyond the semester. Like it gives you um, openings into other areas that you're like, oh, that's interesting. Like I should explore that. It gives you an opportunity, basically. I don't know if that's making sense, but I think it's a great first step to getting that practical experience and meeting um, students from other teams and doing project work. So that's my practical advice. <laughs> Thanks, Ananya. Does anyone else have anything to add? Yeah, I would just say go for it. Um, I think it's hard to kind of piece together like what City Lab will be for you until you actually go through the experience. But I would highly recommend that students do it. And that while you're going through the experience, you're also taking time to reflect, uh, whether that's like a journal that you keep or any other, I don't know, way of reflecting that mean is meaningful to you, because I think it does go by really quickly. Um, but you'll be shocked by how much your thinking changes and the way that you see your, the world around you changes once you're in the program. Yeah, I think you guys summarized that perfectly. All I'll say is that I know a number of people in this semester and a number of people in our semester were unsure about doing it and it ended up being their, their favorite semester at Mac. So I think it's, it's worth a try. You'll at least get project management and uh, work experience out of it, and at best, you'll probably have one of the best uh, semesters in your time of a master. So, yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I, I think uh, just keeping in like an open mind um, about what you're going to learn. Just follow your curiosity, and don't worry if it doesn't line up. Like the project you get doesn't line up with your your area of study or your major or something, because I think you're going to learn something cool either way. Yeah. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. It was so good to see you guys. And um, we should we should meet up in person again. <laughs> yes, thank you. This is honestly a great opportunity, as Julia mentioned, reflection. Just to even sit down and talk about what we got out of that semester is amazing. And you, every time I think about it, something new comes out. So. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a lot of fun to to reflect, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. All right. That is the end of our student panel. So feel free to enjoy the expo. Join City Lab. <laughs> oh yes, join City Lab. Please join City Lab. Join um, fall 2020, 2022. You won't regret it.